Greetings YouTube, Public Offender here, with uh, Thinking Forward. Now a project I'm probably going to work on tonight, I've got as you can see some uh, <clears throat> lumber, if you want to call it that. I figured since we've been taking lots of bouts to the beach, uh, I thought maybe I'd uh, build a beach wagon. Uh, I've ordered wheels for it, but they're not going to be here for a little while. You know, the great big pneumatic tires. <sighs> two stationary, two casters. And they're about, yeah, I think, uh, I think they're damn near 12 inches. They're very big. Good for, good for sand travel. But, um, I figure I'll just build the frame out and all that stuff now. And, uh, wait for my wheels and see how that goes. So let's get into it. Okay, there's a framework done. Just a simple box frame, etc., etc. Measures exactly 48 inches from tip to tip and exactly 24 inches from tip to tip. So I got a literally a two by four structure here. Uh, <coughs> so I'm just cutting the, uh, what do you call it? The, the cargo whatever anyway yeah I'm cutting the the bottom the floor of the wagon now so yeah we'll uh, finish cutting and then screw it down and see what kind of rigidity we have okay I got the cargo decking in place probably on a, eh, roughly a half inch spread not bad so I'm just gonna screw that together see see how good that is all right i got her screwed together she's a pretty solid structure she's not bowing or buckling under my weight so that's what i wanted all right so we can get oh i obviously have run short i mismeasured i thought those were 16s those are 12s uh, so I'm down about 12 feet, so let's uh, see if we can do any siding whatsoever. I'll get back to you. Well, I got one of the sides started. <laughs> Clearly I'm way low on wood, and this thing is way bigger than I anticipated. Here's one of my feet. Yeah, that's that's like the ultimate off-road beach wagon right there. Okay, yeah. So tomorrow I'll you know continue. So I'll put that one last slat. There'll be four sides on it, and then I just have to wait for my pneumatic wheel. Two straights, two casters, and in the meantime I'll mark up some kind of pooling unit. So yeah. I might even rig it to be pulled by my uh, electric scooter there. That might be kind of interesting. A little heavy, but uh, that, that torquey motor I got on there should pull it just fine. So. And my idea was now involving the scooter, I might make this wagon able to like accommodate at least one passenger. So that might be kind of fun to go go on the beach with pulling people in this on my I did that which is parked over there somewhere okay I'll get back to you in a bit with the miracle of editing it should be done well here we go we've got some sidage on I was able to get some more lumber real quick so <coughs> excuse me there we go you know Typical nonsense, whatever. Uh, a set of the wheels came in. The two casters. That's just some bum wheel I found. It's not the right one. So. Again, we're waiting for wheelage. But, um, yeah. Like I said, we had the casters. See, they articulate, or they, you know. They oscillate, whatever. 
whatever you want us to call that. Uh, and then a, that's a straight axle, but I need two that match that, so it'll be the right height. Uh, so let me put the back on. In fact, I might even make that a lift gate. Eh, we'll see what happens. Okay, there you are. Offensively large beach wagon. Uh, well, without the wheels or the handle on it yet, but... Yeah, it is. Uh, it can, uh... There's, a. Uh, there's no kicking this thing down. It, it's sturdy. Overbuilt. Because it's what I do. Okay, let me see if I can put a couple of these casters on it. See how that fits. Yeah, okay. This is pretty much the concept. Obviously, the back wheel is not right. So, I'm not using that. Um, but that's it there. This would be the front end. The swivelators. Swivelating units. Some kind of handle will go there. Um, and of course, you know, my back wheels I'm probably going to put up, like, somewhere in there. Give it sort of like a Land Rover kind of chassis. But yeah, that's that's that for now. Well, hey, thanks for checking out the video. It was very offensive and fun to make. Uh, however, it's not finished because there's some sort of back order issue with the wheels that I ordered. They gave me half of them, but not. The, I don't know what's going on. They keep saying, oh, there's a there's a shipping error or this or that. I think they're just trying to keep my money. And I'm thinking a shipping error, huh? I'm stuck in traffic behind semi-trucks all day. That's like saying, oh, I'm secretly Vincent from Silent Hill 3 and my best friend is Pyramid Head and we just hang out all the time, right? Where did you get that picture? Hey. Anyway, th th that's, uh, never mind. Uh, the uh, wagon is a video to be continued as soon as I uh, finish that. Uh, my scooter is once again under construction. So once I get the wagon fixed up and I get the new part for the scooter and get that up and running again, uh, I will, why don't we just screw it? We'll just go right to the beach. <laughs> That'd be fun video as well. And I still got a floating dock to build and some sort of off-road buggy. That'd be fun as well. Um, so stay tuned. Keep liking, keep commenting, and hit the dingy bell thing. The subscribe, the that thing. Yeah, so see ya.